Gurmagat Laskir. Look, uh, leader, the other day I congratulated the PD4 on uh, accession to a ICTU. Uh, Racco, I have been informed, in order to be allowed to accede, accede to uh, associate member of ICTU, must go to the courts. This is a human resources issue, an IR issue, not uh, a legal issue, and I fail to understand why we're compelling Racco to uh, go to the courts. I'd ask you to engage with the minister and to have it dealt with through the CNA scheme that is available and not to go to the courts. Over the last few uh, sessions here, I have adverted to the search and rescue uh, operations and the rejection of the Air, Air Corps 415 page submission. FOIs have been coming into me over the last few days. We have an FOI here today. I am going to share every single document I have with every single member of this House. Because as far as I'm concerned, there is a level of arrogance coming from the Department of Transport, an unintelligent consumer of the service, which is unbelievable. The level of bias, the level of dismissing highly qualified professionals who put forward a 415 page submission. To me, not only is it wrong that it should happen, but it will cost this state 400 million in the, over the life of the contract that we shouldn't pay. Now, I don't care if the Air Corps never get it, but what I do want is I want what I would call an intelligent consumer to oversee this. The other piece of madness in this country, which I had the privilege to personally go and look at, was Derry Bryan in Galway at the weekend. 70 turbines producing enough electricity for 50,000 houses, decommissioned, stopped in its tracks because of something that happened in 2003 regarding an envir impa environmental impact assessment. That organisation, does it claim, oh, the mudslide. I saw where the mudslide was. It's completely taken over again by nature. That's what nature does. There are miles of roads in Derry Brine. There are fibre optic cables all over Derry Brine. There is an electric grid going into Derry Brine. There are 70 turbines in Derry Brine that cost this state 70 million and they are sitting there idle today. And if they are to be decommissioned, it will take two and a half or three years to get planning permission to decommission them. And we will never, ever, ever be able to restore Derry Brine to what it was before the turbines were put in. For God's sake, in the middle of an international energy emergency, can we not go back to the Europe and say, we need to put this right? I believe that the, that, that particular establishment made over 11.8 million for the state in, in one year. In the month of January alone, 1.8 million was returned to the state in profits from that. Now, I fully accept planning permissions must be followed through legally, etc., etc. But it's in operation for 20 years. And nobody has said a word. And over those 20 years, there are only two people that are showing an objection to it. And one of those two people went door to door to get citizens to agree to put it in in the first place. So I, I think we need the minister in here and we need an open and honest debate on Derry Bryan. And we need to decide which is more important in a national emergency, energy or an environmental Thank impact very assessment much that wasn't completed, that needs to retrospectively be completed. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much.